Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at an example that deals with property dividend. Most of the time, and what I mean by most, 99% of the time in the real world, the company will pay dividend in cash. Sometime they might pay dividend using property. And when they do so, usually it's investments, securities of other companies. Let's take a look at an example that illustrate this concept. Adam owns shares of Microsoft stock at December 31st, those securities were carried in Adam's book at 1 million, which was equal to the fair value. So we're just going to keep it simple as of December 31st of year X1. March 21st, 20X2, at the beginning of the spring, the fair value of those securities went to 1.3 million. And what happened at this point? Adam declared dividend, that is property dividend in nature. So Adam decided to distribute those dividend to the shareholders. Adam to distribute the dividend on April 1st to stockholders on record April 1st. So if you own Adam's shares April 1st, you will get the dividend on April 4th. And the declaration date was March 21st. So what do we have to do? First, we have to adjust those investment, those securities, which is Microsoft stocks to market. Therefore, we debit equity investment 300,000 we credit unrealized holding gain income of 300,000. So simply put, the first thing is you mark those securities to market. Well, then we're gonna go ahead and prepare the journal entries that's needed for the dividend. We debit retained earnings, which is we're gonna reduce retained earnings by 1.3 million, and we're going to increase property dividend payable because we are paying dividend, and this happens on March 21st. X2, which is the declaration date. Then on April 1st, which is the records date, we don't make an entry. On the records date, what we do is we review our record to determine who owns the stock on April 1st in order to distribute those securities to them. And on the, on the distribution date, let's not call it the payment date, we're going to debit the liability, property dividend payable, and we are going to credit equity investments. Simply put, we're going to distribute to them shares of Microsoft stocks. We're not paying them cash. We are using the stocks. Now think about it for a moment. Why do we have to mark the investment to market? Well, think about it. What's the other alternative? The other alternative is to sell those shares, sell and cash them out. If you sold them, you will receive 1.3 million. Therefore, when you distribute them, you have to reduce your retained earning by the fair value. So whether you sold them or not, in, in other words, whether you sold them and realized the gain, or if you kept them but you want to distribute them, it's as if you have sold them. Therefore, you have to recognize the gain. Then you distribute the shares rather than the cash. And this is how property dividend work. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to invite you to go to farhatlectures.com and work multiple choice through false questions. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Invest in yourself. Your education is worth it. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.